Yo, what's going on guys? Today we're talking about toxic relationships. This is Devin Kripe, the greatest coach in the world. And I just got off a coaching call with one of my clients on my massive execution business coaching, high performance coaching program. And he was really struggling with uh, a relationship that he just broke up with this girl, a whole bunch of drama, this and that. And I thought I'd come on here and give you guys this uh, one tip and then relate it to a few other things real quick for you guys today. Um, the, I always say this quote when it comes to drugs, addictions, sins, vices, bad habits, that an eagle cannot soar until he gets the weights off his wings. Meaning you right there, you guys cannot soar to your highest potential being the best man you can be, the best version of yourself until you get the weights off your wings and when i normally use this metaphor this analogy um, i'm talking about drugs vices bad habits those are the weights on your wings weed alcohol porn video games uh whatever it may be overeating pizza ice cream donuts whatever it may be for you you will not be able to soar to your fullest potential being the best man you can be until you get those weights off your wings and then talking to him today my coaching client dealing with this relationship and sometimes that's people Sometimes you will not be able to soar until you cut off certain relationships in your life. Certain toxic relationships, parasitic relationships, people who are draining you mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally, financially, whatever it may be, you will not be able to soar to your highest level and being the best man you can be until you kind of cut those off. And he was referring back to uh, one of my high performance events I did for my mastermind inside one of my communities. Uh, when I said, you need to say no to opportunities. You need to say no to things uh, because you need to be in the season of yes and recommit to your commitments, recommit to your goals, recommit and just fully focus on those things you say yes to and then say no to uh, any other opportunity, any other friend any other thing you need to say no to those things so you can solely focus on your commitments and what you said yes to like in marriage when you say yes and you commit to a woman in marriage you say no to every other woman you say yes to one thing you say no to everything else everyone else same thing with a profession you say yes to a profession you kind of say no to every other profession or business right same thing with uh religion your faith you commit you fully believe in the faith you, you are, are committed to it, you say yes to it, and you basically, by doing that, you say no to every other faith, right? And he was refer that's what really, you know, caused him to reflect and, and move to actually not continuing the relationship he was in with the woman. And uh, yeah, and uh, the reason I, I just wanted to give you guys this video is sometimes you need to cut off those parasitic relationships. Those relationships are draining you mentally emotionally spiritually physically whatever it may be sometimes you need to say no to those relationships or those people or at the very you know least you you distance yourself right um you notice every single time you talk to that person or this and that they drain you mentally or emotionally or they purely just come talk to you for money or whatever it may be you kind of you know distance yourself from those people because they're not adding to you they're draining you they're taking away from you right and that's the same thing for everything else right um and relating this to some other things guys is just like yeah, but relationships are important community is important i'm actually personally right now sharing with you guys that i'm uh moving towards uh building more communities but also being a part of more communities, specifically within the church, right? I'm looking to get more associated within a, a church, looking to go to more youth groups or a young adult groups and, and men groups and, and for more fellowship, for more community, because as human beings, as men, we need community. We need to socialize. We need that. And I could tell you from experience because I've been a certain type of personality, very, very heavily on grinding building the business doing a lot of things solo um solitude right and a lot of that is great but also there's you know negative things that's that's beautiful right there's negative things that come from being um 
in solitude or not socializing for a long period of time. It's not good for you spiritually or mentally or emotionally at times, right? So building more communities, more friendships with men with the same values, with the same goals, right? Be a part of those communities, fellowship, right? With the same, same faith, same goals when it comes to their faith, their family, uh, you know, around fitness, working out, uh, eating healthy, right? Finances, business, and all that stuff associating yourself with people with the same values and morals. That's what I'm personally um, looking to do even more because I want, I know more of that is gonna help me grow spiritually. It's going to fill me and give me what I need emotionally and mentally, right? So um, the same thing within your relationships, with your friends, with your family, with your relationship with your partners or partner, Right, you kind of want to reflect and do an audit. Uh, how is this relationship serving me or hurting me? Is this something that could be fixed or improved, um, or is this something that needs to be? I need to distance myself from this friendship or this family member or this partner or whatever it may be, um, or do I need to completely cut it off? Right, and do an audit. Right, and then you know reverse that is like who, you know, what type of relationships do I want? What type of uh, fellowship uh, communities do I want to be a part of and get around more of those people because that's going to help serve you and benefit you right um, specifically something within my relationship with my woman right I uh, reflect we do a lot of work because relationships are not easy right and we've had a lot of challenges and um, adversities we also had a lot of great times and a lot of great things you know obviously we've been together for almost three years so there's been a lot of positive things to it but there's um, things that need to be improved on and so we've taken and are taking the proper steps personally and within our relationship and how we relate with one another and how we communicate to one another to improve it right so there's you know examples of friendships family members relationships whatever it may be that you can communicate and if both of you have the will the heart the desire to change and to grow and to continue moving forward then obviously you you do that if you're in a relationship that isn't like that the other person's like no doesn't want to work on it this and that then that'd probably be a, a relationship that you would probably want to distance yourself from or cut off right and it's the same thing with friends and family members um if certain friends do not have the same values or goals naturally you're only gonna associate yourself with them uh, less and less right or only around things that you do have the same values and goals on um and family members if you notice that family members are just kind of constantly draining you mentally or emotionally or whatever um you want to be aware of that and kind of you know obviously you don't cut them off completely for the most part but distance yourself because that's not going to serve you and you can only pour into that person so much especially if all they're doing is taking and taking right um look how pasty i'm guys pasty i'm getting summer shredded getting those abs but we're pasty so that's why we're walking with our shirt off it's sunny it's about 74 degrees today what a beautiful day um Cool guys, summer shred video comes out tomorrow on exactly how I'm training, my nutrition, my mindset, cardio, everything when it comes to getting summer shredded. So definitely check that out tomorrow. Um, other than that guys, that's the video today. Um, God bless your soul. Continue to pursue your faith and uh, level up in your faith and your family and your relationships and your fitness and your health. And uh, of course, in your finances, your purpose, your business uh, and all that great stuff. If you guys need help, um, I'll help you for completely free. All you gotta do is click one of the links below, um, join my community, God's Warriors, or click uh, the link where you can hop on my Mindset Fitness Nutrition Program for two weeks for free, hop on a one-on-one -on -one with me, you know, join my free communities, and much more um, if you need help. Other than that, guys, man, what a beautiful day. What a beautiful day. Other than that, guys, God bless you. God bless your soul. I believe in you. It's time to step into greatness and step into your full potential. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe and click the notification button so you never miss a video and uh, connect with me on all platforms. All right, guys. See you guys next time. God bless. Peace. Let's go.